What's going on? We are facing another issue. This is NASA. We went overboard. We are not giving up on our train. Hello everyone and welcome to the episode number three of our challenge of trading Bitcoin from New York to Alaska. We are not far from Alabama, we are in Tennessee right now. Just woke up and we saw the CPI data and this gives us the opportunity to enter into a trade. And so far we're not doing so good. <laughs> it was like $2,400 was left yesterday. We had two trades so far in this expedition. One was a profit, one was a loss. If you haven't seen previous episodes, episode one and two, please go back and check them out. I am taking a short trade, three Bitcoin, just like yesterday. And we finally have some profit on our side. So hopefully this trade is gonna pan out. <laughs> It was raining and uh, the car is leaking. I suppose it is because of this hole. But in all fairness, this is a small sandbag, you know? There's no electronics in it anyway. $1,400 a car that we bought and just changed the oil in New York City actually made it more than a thousand miles. Okay, let's attach the Starlink back on its back and then go. On a good note, our trade is performing quite well. Finally, some profit. Here is our entry into a short. I have a good feeling that now trade should be better. Let's go and have something to eat. Another Chinatown restaurant. On another good note, finally a nice trade. We're saying that the profit is good. And we just came on the way to laundromat somewhere in Tennessee. At Advanced Auto Parts, for now, I can actually take this profit, the volume is drying up a bit. It could continue, but just in terms of our strategy and the way how I trade, now I want to trade in this expedition, it's fine. So let's get out, confirm, and we are out. So on a total profit, since it's about 238. So this actually puts us into a slight profit of about $180. Yes! Don't look at the leverage. That's what I need to do with a small account if you want to actually pay for hotels because for now we're still not even at break even point with all the hotels and stuff and food and and I really don't want to sleep in a car. And while Ilya is still working on the light bulbs, there is some more volume coming in and I'm entering in the opposite direction now into a long because we just taken a short and I'm actually going into a long with five Bitcoin right now because there was a really nice spike of volume and there is some follow through, I see it. I don't want to bore you to death with all the details. If you want to learn, use a 50% discount on my trading education and you might as well be able to travel like this, the world, whatever. Great education down in the description of this video, 50% discount and start to feel the market again. Amazing, let's go. Well, while we were waiting for the trade to play out, the internet is kind of gone when it does this. Are you gonna finally fix it or what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's look bad. <laughs> ah, that looks quite bad. We need yeah. to clean the, this concept. It's corrosion. Yeah. Well, get it done, man. Get it done. We need to run to the laundromat and then probably make some more money, hopefully. I cannot see it. But this guy fixed it. With the help of advanced auto parts and $20. That's you got one too, huh? We need help with this shit. I never have done this. Well, in the last 10 years, never. Let's go for this one. While you're waiting, I'm making sure that we have money to pay for it. We're seeing a breakout, small breakout. There is some volume, so there is some follow through. This is nice. But again, guys, I'm just giving you a brief overview as to what I'm doing. It's like not. My whole strategy in one, this is why there's a five months long program. Well, our trade is uh, in a small profit. It is time for us to go chill out a bit. Right there. This is almost like luxury, really cheap luxury, somewhere in the middle of Tennessee. This is the cheapest hotel we could find, honestly, the cheapest. So while he's actually enjoying himself, I'm doing all the work. There it is. 
Our trade is playing out real nicely. Second trade already. We have our take profit set out. If it's gonna pan out, that's gonna be a nice profit today. Look how romantic. Incredible. We're still waiting on this trade, which just drives me nuts, to be honest. But at least we were able to get some rest. There it is. And here is our trade. I moved to take profit a bit lower because the volatility just went down. Nothing is happening. So if it is within the more or less okay risk parameters, then I usually just try to get out of it as soon as possible. And look, we are literally two dollars away from our take profit this is our luck with volatility on bitcoin i didn't have any more patience so we just got out the second trade hello and for today we have uh, just basically two trades just got out of uh, nothing literally nothing so that's what 340 dollars in profit considering that we were trading with a, uh, about a deposit which is two and a half thousand dollars this means that we've done almost 15 percent profit in one day one day so this is good this puts us actually into a profit in general, because in terms of our expenses, right here are our expenses. Today we spent $110 on the hotel, breakfast $27, a fog light replacement $10, and a dinner $41. So in total, $188. And yesterday we had $190 left, so guess what? We currently have $2 left in our pockets. So tomorrow we're gonna have to take some money out of the trading deposit, and we'll be back to square one. But this is better than nothing. Leave your comments with congratulations on at least some profits. And guys, remember that I am personally trading over on Bybit. And down in the description of this video, you will find a link to Bybit. And with Bybit, you can claim up to $30,000 initial deposit bonuses. And also you get free access to my trading community. Also link down in the description of this video. Free lifetime access. This is where I post all of my trades and the trades of my team. And we're a very strong community of more than 30,000 traders. And we're making good money uh, overall. And also BitGet, good option, also link down in the description of this video. But BitGet gives you up to $8,000 initial deposit bonuses, but it doesn't require KYC. Bybit does require KYC, while BitGet doesn't. We're gonna be retiring. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, time to drive to Alabama. Oh, wow. We now need to start picking up the trading game. Here's uh, Bitcoin is showing a little bit of the up move. And we have on our side a profit of $277 in total so far. And we need to take money from here today because we don't have any money left in our pocket. But nonetheless, I have a trading plan for today. And hopefully it's going to play out. I really want to take a big profit. And I have a good idea as to why. Because there's going to be some important data. So I might be able to trade that. But let's see if it works out. How did you sleep yesterday? Well, very good. Yeah, very good. Let's go. Hello. What is this assortie for breakfast? I mean, this is crazy. This is exotic. You got spring roll, you got sushi, you got some, what cheese is this? Muscle. Cheese and muscles, you got pizza. These are mushrooms with some Mountain Dew. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is a proper way of having a breakfast, you know? What is this? Like, you're trying different world cuisines in one. And we've been on the road for about 30 minutes and finally, the stars are aligning for a trade that I really wanted because previously, all the trades were like, nah. So that's why I was like getting out early sometimes. And actually yesterday, it's a good thing I got out of that long really quickly because it actually dumped right afterwards. So that's why, you know, whenever you see that the trade is not working out in accordance to your strategy, you should get out. Now, I finally am seeing some Really good stuff. There are some levels on the way right now, but I really want to enter super early into this short trade. So I'm just going to be controlling it and the uh, entry right here. So three Bitcoin, thousand bucks. And uh, we had to go down to $2,500 because we had to take out $277 to live on because we have expenses. As I'm talking, we have a small profit already on our side. I really believe in this trade. Literally minutes later, after our entry, it is happening. Exactly what I expected. You know guys whom I'm uh, jealous of the most right now? My wife. Here is Sofia Kralo sitting in our my back, being driven by our chauffeur Suheb in the middle of Dubai, looking absolutely beautiful. Is it comfortable sitting in our my back, baby? Right, and we are sitting, look at this ceiling. 
I guess you don't have a ceiling like this, do you? How is Dubai? Hot, but amazing. <laughs> well, we are about 13,000 kilometers away from Dubai right now. We're pretty much on the other side of the world, but Starlink does its job. Why do we have much more fun than her, though? And we are facing another issue, and that is the AC. It's not blowing very cold, like, it, uh, what's it called? Freon? Yeah. The Freon seems to be going down a bit, so we found a place where we can recharge the AC because it's getting hot, like really, 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 really hot. And it's like 2 p.m. and we haven't driven much. I just hope it's not gonna be more than 100 bucks. And you know where we are? We're in the town, near the town of Chattanooga. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga. It sounds like we're somewhere in Asia, not in the United States. Close to Alabama. Maxi. Look at this place. Really weird location. Chattanooga. Chattanooga. I'm over the dog like a local. There is a chance that actually the AC is broken. Well, a small chance. Well, no, because it blows. It blows, it blows. let's say, fine. It's oh. just not as cold as the... As, it, as, as, as it was, because it was yeah. okay when we picked yeah. it up. So. Yeah. The trade two, not moving too much. Where's the money? You're the trader. <laughs> I found our next car, though. Okay. Oh, wouldn't that be nice to have something like this? How much would be a truck like this? $10,000? Uh, I think we, sh we can get that. Seven, five, six, seven grand. Five, six, seven grand is still a lot more than this. But if we at any point make really nice trades, something's gonna be luck on our side, maybe we could upgrade the car as well. We actually have passengers in the car. We actually have a uh, nest of ants, see? They're actually coming together with us. If you actually pay attention to how nasty this car is, no surprise, we actually have an ant house together with us. <laughs> so, good? Yep. Ice cold. Oh, nice. Oh, well, now finally, we can make it to Alabama with this. I'm happy for the cold air. Yes. I'm not happy about spending $120 on AC. $120. We had $277 in our pocket, and then after the breakfast, and we need to get gas and pay for the hotel tonight again, we're gonna be out of money again. As for our trade, it's already almost 4 p.m. This is still looking fine, but we're coming in for a retest, so we're still profitable. Maybe I should have taken the $500 profit, but I still believe in this trade, so retests are okay, so let's see as to what happens next. We are officially in my favorite state of Alabama. Well, that's the only state that I could really pronounce with this southern accent. You gotta learn this accent as well, if you wanna blend in right here. Nothing really changes much. It's all the same scenery if it's North Carolina, Tennessee, or Alabama. But we're gonna show you something very special in just a couple of minutes. We're arriving soon. And then guys, by the way, I hope that you appreciate this first ever in the world New York to Alaska Bitcoin trading vlog series. So if you do, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're always notified when I make a new upload. Wow! Have you guys seen a rocket in real life? Bam! This is so cool! What is that thing over there? What is that? So huge! This is NASA. This actually is NASA. And here is the deal, guys. If we see a lot of likes, at least 10,000 likes on this episode. In the next season, in the next challenge, we have a crazy idea if this goes viral and so that more people actually see this vlog. Then actually, the next challenge we'll do in one of these. Getting of course, but a like would really be appreciated. Also, there is a share button down below here on YouTube if you wanna share it with your friends and family members. I found the right costume for you. Ilya the space traveler. <laughs> no, that's for you. That's for you. 
<laughs> there you go. There you go, a Alabama cyborg. <laughs> Let's go on these ones. Get in. <laughs> we can do racing. Well, should we go in? Because the tickets are 30 bucks. Each. Each. When else are we going to be at mass? And we still don't have a popcorn on the trade. Really cool place. But I want to know your opinion on different theories that the moon landing was actually fake. Tell me in the comments if you think that's the case and we've actually never been to the moon. To realize the magnitude of something, you need to understand it in relation to something else. Look at the sheer size of it. Wow, just Ilya is big, but this thing is humongous. It's absolutely incredible how we went from this to this in literally a few decades. I have a genius idea. Do you think if we were to have this engine on our Mercedes, we would get to Alaska a bit faster? We would get a lot of tickets. <laughs> yeah, well, they won't catch us. <laughs> Let's quickly take it and remodel Mercedes. All in the best tradition since we're visiting Alabama, Rocket Center, and then also Space Camp. And then we'll see by the end of the trip how many we're gonna have of these. We gotta say goodbye to the rocket. We need to get back to trading, but quite frankly, we got into the core and we just see that nothing much is happening. The Bitcoin price is pretty much stagnant. 6 p.m. No, it's 5 p.m. here. 5 p.m. For right now, we need to be going to the southest there is in Alabama. From US Space Rocket Center, five hour drive, 350 miles. And we're gonna be looking for alligators. We could not miss that opportunity. And so far, actually, if we look at the journey, we came from New York right here to Rocket Center in Alabama. And now we're going to the south of Alabama. Then we need to go to Vegas and also LA, etc., And then up to Alaska. So we've literally made it this tiny bit. There is still a long way to go. So let's do this. Got some fuel and finally I got a chance to drive myself as well. But I got a chance to drive only because the market isn't doing much. So our trade is basically at 0.0, .0 anyway. If you look in the screen right now, and you'll find out that the Bitcoin price is quite stagnant, but we are not giving up on our trade. So Ilya is gonna be actually helping me out with this. And if we need to adjust something or to take profit or get out of the trade, he's gonna be doing it. So hopefully he's not gonna be screwed up. Oh, Jesus Christ, I almost crashed. Alabama, here we go. about what 100 miles to go and maybe a little bit less 150 kilometers to this most southern part of alabama 200 miles 200 miles to go 200 more miles to go yeah. and when it comes to our trade the market is still not moving i mean we started this expedition in the slowest market really the slowest part of it but we are still doing okay so we're still doing fine with this time constraints high risk and stuff so maybe we'll have to leave this trade overnight which i really don't like to do when you're doing day trading and scope trading but we'll see because it's getting late and we have a long way ahead of us i almost crashed again just now okay i'm gonna leave my thoughts for later i suppose mm. And uh, no profits for us today yet. All we get for ourselves is some crazy rain. Look at this incredible rain. We can barely see anything, but this is, you know, when people say, oh, this is dangerous. Where is your sense of adventure? The whole life should be one big adventure because the time is limited and we're not getting more of time. I'm absolutely loving it right now. I feel like I'm 12 years old again. I mean, it's incredible. Look at it. Finally, we are here. Look at it, 11. And here is our hotel, the cheapest one we could find. 600 miles later and like many, many hours later. So this is good. This is a very good day. Look, we are right here right now. Alligator Alley, Alabama. We've done a good job, huh? 
Mm. But it's about time to go just check in and go to sleep. Crunch time with the numbers. We went overboard. So breakfast, $26. Unexpected AC fix, $120. Lunch, $20. Museum, we had to go show you guys the museum, $60. Gas, $60. Bucks, and the hotel, right now, $160 for two rooms. And what we had in a pocket was $277. And we went $169 overboard. We had to borrow the money from Ilya. When it comes to our trade, nothing is happening. So we are pretty much at the zero line with our trade. I'm gonna keep it overnight. I'm gonna set out a wider stop loss because I still believe in it. But when it comes to trading performance today is basically a zero. So we didn't make anything, we didn't lose anything. It's just dancing around the zero. So the deposit stays basically the same at two and a half thousand minus 169 that we went overboard. So we are again into a negative. The clouds, dark clouds are starting to gather above us right now, if you get what I mean. But at least we traveled 950 kilometers or 590 miles, which puts us in total at 2,300 kilometers and 1,426 miles. And we're gonna keep tomorrow and then hopefully we'll make some money and give Ilya back his money and try to save more money and find crocodiles. Good morning. Welcome to day five. The only thing I wanna see is that our trade has played out and we have at least $500 in profit. Well, and what do you know? The price hasn't moved really that very much. And there was our entry and the resistance is still quite valid. I might as well just wait until model is invalidated and then just move to a smaller time frame and trade like super skull trades in 15 seconds or something. And here is our current status of this trade, minus 100 bucks. I guess maybe I'll just have to accept this. Right now it's the weekend and the volatility might not be there and we have a risk of not making anything, no, not losing anything, not making anything. When usually there's no volatility, I just usually don't trade. But we need to trade because we need money. Ah. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. It's 36 degrees outside Celsius. 36 degrees. And it's very humid, but nonetheless. Let's go find some crocodiles. We're in the states like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. This is there and Florida as well, kind of. The world of alligators and crocodiles. So we cannot miss the opportunity to meet a few before we move on to the desert, which is Texas, Nevada, New Mexico, Walter White's house. <laughs> Guys, this is Robertsdale, Alabama. Look, we actually have palm trees. We are very south in the United States that the palm trees are starting to show up. And this is the real United States. You know, this is the real middle of nowhere. <laughs> Something that you don't normally see in the movies. Ilya, did you find yourself your dream job? Yeah. Come on, dig it. We need to find some oil in Alabama. I've heard there's some oil in Alabama. <laughs> what the hell is going on? How old are you exactly? He's still playing with it. This guy is just playing with a toy tractor. Great success. Look at this gator. Feed him. Oh, wow. Look, he's submerging. Oh, look, there's another one. Oops. <laughs> this one's so good. Wow. This is a long one, huh? This is the real swamp of Alabama. This is what the real wildlife looks like. Look at this guy. Wow. <laughs> Imagine you're just walking around and you see this guy, literally crawling up on you. Want some more, Betty? There you go. This guy is huge, huh? Dangerous animal. Next target is no other than New Orleans, the sixth most dangerous city in the whole of the United States. It's going to be about three hours and we need to grab some food along the way, etc. When it comes to our trade, there has been a small breakout against us, but I'm not believing in it. And while we are at it, yesterday we had about 12 people join in the education. The whole, that's why I promised to show you everything. And today already we've made this. And again, this is the money we're not using in the expedition. This is just me showing you being transparent. 
about trading versus my education sales. For now, we're making more money from this than from our small trading deposit, but we are fighting, we're showing the reality. Welcome to the state of Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. And we're still waiting on our trade. Is this a joke? Is this kidding? There is a bit of movement up and down, buying and selling, but... And as we go, we're watching this. This is so funny. Joe Rogan and uh, Joy Diaz. If you know about them, tell me about it down in the comments because I think they're just hilarious. I'm just literally so proud. This is the result of one of my students. Look at how incredibly linear his profit and loss actually is. This is how stable it is with proper risk and money management, which is what we are not using in the expedition because we need to explode fast or lose everything. When you do things properly with my strategy of Thomas Corallo, then this is how your cumulative profit and loss should look like. And he is one of my VIPs. And if you're interested, there is a link down in the description of this episode a link to sign up for a call with my team and you can book a zoom call it is a free call which you can jump on and discuss the mentorships we have and what kind of vip opportunities vip mentorship opportunities where you get access to me directly get my phone number and i coach you one-on-one -on -one. and i usually have only a couple of seats available it's an expensive mentorship but it is worth it and it's expensive the reason why because i'm limited i cannot you know handle more people than i can jump on a call now you know, guys, it's one hell of a journey, to say the least. And we are not even one-fourth of the way. And something has happened. What's going on? Your opinion on this matter? Seems like something is on fire. Wow, what's going on? And there is a big traffic jam, huh? The sky has separated. Look at it. This is actually wildfire happening right now in Mississippi. There is smoke everywhere as we're trying to trade. This is absolutely crazy. Oh, see, yeah, there's like smoke coming out of the woods. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but right there, look at it. You can actually see how burnt the trees are and the smoke is still spreading. What an incredible nature. And we just crossed the river, which is called, what is a geographist? Pearl. Pearl. What a beautiful name for a river. And right now we're officially entering an incredible and beautiful and green and an alligator infested state of Louisiana. And we are in the New Orleans. New Orleans is quite famous for jazz music. I think that this is where the jazz music was actually invented. So as we are trying to trade, we're gonna be going through it. When it comes to our trade, shall I give you an update? Because it's just moving to the side, it's just doing nothing. Nothing. Let's just go play some jazz music or not. Should we just go to Texas directly? <laughs> seeing any criminal activity, no gangs, nothing. The Starling is still in the trunk, so we're good. You're gonna call the fucking receptionist and tell them to lift it up. It's not the sixth most dangerous city. Fine. And we just left New Orleans. Now our way, we are going to Texas. We're gonna be doing a lot of interesting fun stuff in Texas. What Ilya wants to do, he wants to add Shamrock, which is all the way up here. This is where actually the desert begins and this is gonna be a completely different scenic view. And we're gonna be in the middle of the United States, but I think that this is too much. 1,000 miles, that's like 1,600 kilometers in total. When we've driven only 300 today, it's already 4 p.m. We definitely will probably stop somewhere in Dallas. Now when it comes to our trade, literally nothing. Look, nothing is happening with the same trade for like 24 hours at this point. I just gave up. I gave up on this short trade on Bitcoin problem is we need to make money and we need to make money fast so I needed to adjust something so I just found an interesting trade setup that could give us a huge quick profit well we had to accept the small loss 
of $135. And it was plus commission for entry, commission for exit, because we're taking big trades with a small account. It was almost like zero lines, so because of the commission, we lost a bit. And also, guys, I've just taken out $300 from our derivatives account. As you can see, it's down to 2064 because I owe $169 to Ilya and uh, also other expenses for the trip, etc. So we need to have some money. We have only like 100 something dollars right now in our pocket. And so it's, we are down to $2,000 in our trading deposit. So to be honest, I'm not very happy about it, but I have one trade idea that really has to save us. And the trade idea is coming from the world of altcoins and this Ladies and gentlemen, it's Pepe. Right now it's pumping. And I think that the continuation of the pump, according to my analysis, should continue. This is one of those altcoins that doesn't really follow Bitcoin that very much at some point. So therefore, hopefully we can see some bigger volatility because it's one of the biggest volatilities right now is in Pepe and Sheep as well. So I'm taking a long because we right now are standing the very important resistance in it in a bigger time frame. But in a smaller time frame, we actually have broken above it and retested this level and potentially can continue. So I'm taking this early entry into a long right now, which is currently already sitting at minus $46, $50. But this is the idea. It's a uh, 35 million Pepe, 35 million Pepe long. Let's hope this moves because there is a lot more volatility here for sure. So let's do it. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. It's time for us to have a dinner. Let's go for triple dinner. Triple decker. <laughs> Somewhere not far from Texas. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. A couple of more minutes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, boys. Sam's special hamburger steak. I'm thinking about one of these. I'm trying to stay fit. I'm uh, working out every morning in the hotel. Well, almost every morning. Every third morning before finding. Run around with Starling? No, see, the, the thing is that we are trading as we're going. We're trading Bitcoin. Oh, my So goodness. we need a good stable internet. Oh, wow. Because our AT&T carrier is just garbage on the road, you know? Yeah, and this, right. we're actually getting like over 100 megabytes. Wow. Download, yeah. As we're going like 80 miles an hour, we're yeah. actually getting a very good internet. Because wow. that thing, it like tilts and like it finds the satellite. So thanks so, to Elon Musk. Yeah, <laughs> she told me you're from Dubai. Right, right. How nice is it really? It depends. It depends on your views on life, you know. I feel like I feel like there's really nice parts, but I feel like there's probably like some really underdeveloped parts too, right? That is true. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it is like what anywhere. it is. Like anywhere. Yeah. Since we are in Louisiana, this is the sticker we gotta get protected by Second Amendment. For those of you who don't know, you should study the Constitution of the United States. The right to bear arms. That's why I always gotta be easy in the southern states, just to make sure that people know that we know we have this right here. And you know, when it comes to our trade, you know where it is? It's at zero, literally at zero. But we have another hour and a half of a drive to the hotel. It's already 10 p.m. almost. It's still 30 degrees Celsius outside and still no profit even with Pepe. I was expecting a huge move, huge profit. And then it's like, ah, and that's it. We are finally at our destination. It's actually midnight right now. And we're very close to Dallas, Texas. And we have a very long way to go tomorrow. And you guys, when it comes to our trade, it went into profits. And then added some levels. The volatility went down again. But the hope on this trade is still lives. And I'm gonna keep it into tomorrow. You're gonna see how it's gonna play out in the next episode. My energy, guys, is right here at zero. To be honest, so far it's it's not that very smooth trading-wise because we are tired and the internet and this and that. I know that they're all our excuses and I've been trading for nine years, so I should be able to do this. We're still okay, so let's crunch the numbers. So we've taken out $300 of the deposit for the expenses and to pay back Ilya. We've paid $11 for gator food, for alligator food, $2 for Ilya's uh, tractor ride. 
Thank you, Ilya. Then $25 for lunch. Breakfast was included in the previous hotel. Gas, $60. Dinner, $23. Hotel, $120 for both rooms here today. I was able to pay back Ilya's $59 because we owed him $169. I paid him back a bit and then $110 is still left. So we're down $110 still in our pocket. Our deposit at $2,070. Trading performance then at basically at minus $130. Whatever, a few bucks back and forth. And then distance traveled 1,000 kilometers or 600 miles and total distance traveled to 3,200 kilometers or 2,000 miles. If you've enjoyed this episode and if you're enjoying this whole expedition, uh, please tell me in the comments please leave a like subscribe hit that notification bell because, so that you're notified when the new episode comes out and if this episode is available then it's gonna actually show up on the screen right here go watch it now also check out the teaser for the next episode i'm ready to go this is the place where hank was shot and we have another problem just leave it leave it wow don't go fast you ready I'll see you then. Peace and love. Thanks for all the stage more. Still rich. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.